Walter Percy Chrysler was born on April 2, 1875 in Wamego, Kansas, and grew up in Ellis, Kansas. From an early age he showed a great interest in machines and engineering, which eventually led him to an apprenticeship as a machinist with the Union Pacific Railroad. There, through hard work and exceptional technical understanding, he rose to the position of foreman. In his early career, he moved to the American Locomotive Company, and later to the Buick Motor Company, where, under William C. Durant, he played a key role as production manager in increasing manufacturing efficiency. His work at Buick impressed the industry, as he managed to drastically cut production costs while improving quality. In 1916, he became president of Buick, but left the company in 1919 after disagreements with Durant. He then became a sought-after expert in turning around struggling companies and took over, among others, the Willys Overland Company, and later the Maxwell Motor Company. From Maxwell, he officially founded the Chrysler Corporation in 1925, which quickly achieved great success with technical innovations such as the introduction of the first mass-produced four-wheel hydraulic brakes and aerodynamic vehicle designs. Chrysler became especially famous in 1924 with the Chrysler 6, a vehicle introduced under his name even before the official founding of the company, which set new standards with its advanced technology and affordable price. In 1928, he expanded his company by acquiring the Dodge Brothers Company, and also created the Plymouth and DeSoto brands to cover different market segments. Under his leadership, Chrysler quickly rose to become one of the big three in the American automotive industry. Another major symbol of his success was the construction of the Chrysler Building in New York City, which was completed in 1930 and briefly became the tallest building in the world, a masterpiece of Art Deco architecture and a tribute to the industrial achievement of his company. Walter Chrysler retired from active business in 1935, handed over leadership to his successors, and devoted himself more to private interests. He died on August 18, 1940 in Kings Point, New York. His life path is a prime example of the American dream, from a simple railroad worker to an industrial magnate who not only built an empire but also left a lasting mark on the history of the automotive industry and architecture.